Hey everyone, it's Elliot here. Have you ever been stuck with that frustrating iPhone lock to owner message? You're probably here because you're searching for a way to bypass the iCloud activation lock. And trust me, you're not alone. There are tons of services and software out there claiming to unlock your device, but let's be real. Most of them are sketchy or downright scams. But don't worry, I've got your back. In today's video, I'm going to show you the safest, quickest, and totally legal tricks to unlock that iPhone, iPad, or Apple Watch. Stick around, because these methods are not only free, but also guaranteed to work. So let's dive right in and get that device unlocked. Just a heads up, this info is only for people who own their device and have forgotten their login details. We don't support using this on stolen devices. Follow the law and respect others' rights. Our video follows YouTube's rules and community standards. All right, let's get started. All right, let's talk about these services right away. You might have heard of various ways to unlock your iPhone, but not all methods are created equal. Some software options out there claim to do the job, but they can be risky and unreliable. So what's the best way to go? One of the safest and most efficient methods is to use Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app. It's super straightforward and gets the job done quickly. Another solid choice is Safe Unlocks, known for its reliability. Locked Owner is also a great service that many users swear by, and iUnlock app has helped countless people get past that pesky iCloud activation lock. Back when I first encountered the iPhone lock to owner issue, I didn't know where to start. I came across various sketchy software that promised the moon but delivered nothing. Then I discovered these legit services and I've never looked back. Each of these services offers a secure, straightforward way to unlock your device. They're designed to help people who genuinely own their devices but have hit a roadblock. This is strictly for educational purposes and it's super important to only use these methods if you've forgotten your own access info. Next up, we'll dive into how to use Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant. You should know that the unlock services we're discussing only work in first world countries. If you can't access these services or prefer not to use them, we've got you covered. We offer 250 unlocks every week for our viewers. To enter, simply like this video, subscribe to our channel, and comment with your device model, your IMEI number, and your country. Once you've completed these steps, you're automatically entered into the weekly draw. Now let's go to the unlocking process. Open your browser on your phone or computer and navigate to unlockhere.com, an AI assistant powered web app designed to help you unlock any mobile phone restriction. Once there, let Nifty, the AI bot, know that you need an iCloud unlock by clicking on remove activation lock. Then select that you have an iPhone. You can also choose iPad or Apple Watch if that's your device. Enter the IMEI or serial number. For iPhones, choose IMEI. Some iPads and Apple Watches with a SIM card slot or cellular capacity also have IMEIs, but most just have a serial number. To find this information on a locked device, press the sleep button, then press it again and tap the I on the bottom right. It will display your device info. Don't forget to input the device information in the next step. Enter basic info to attach the order to your account, ensuring it's real so you can receive your order confirmation. You'll get a confirmation code sent to your email that you need to confirm. Agree to the terms, ensuring you don't plan on unlocking a stolen device and tap start process. Solve the quick captcha to confirm you're not a robot. You will receive an email with a confirmation code. Make sure to check your spam or junk folder as sometimes it lands there. Take the confirmation code and click the button to land on a page where you need to enter it and confirm once again that you're not a robot. Once entered, your unlock process will start and your device will be unlocked. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone lock to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it'll be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again once it's finally unlocked, so it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And there it is. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to set it all up later. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the rest of the steps and just do it all later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here you can just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. And yeah, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. All right, guys, here are some more alternative ways to legally remove iCloud activation lock. For those of you facing the iPhone lock to owner issue, there are a few tried and true methods to unlock your device. First, one of the easiest ways is to contact Apple support directly. 
If you provide proof of purchase and verify your identity, Apple can help remove the iCloud activation lock for you. This method is completely legal and ensures your device is handled safely. Another way is to use trusted unlocking services like Unlock Here's, AI-powered unlocking web app, Safe Unlocks, Lock to Owner, and iUnlock app. These services are designed to help you unlock your device without breaching any laws. They are reliable and have been used by many to regain access to their devices. Additionally, there are third-party tools that claim to remove iCloud activation lock, but you should be cautious with these. Always do your research to avoid scams and illegitimate services. If you prefer a safer, hassle-free option, stick with the services mentioned earlier. Remember, only use these methods if you genuinely own the device and have forgotten your access information. It's essential to respect the law and others' rights. And that's it for today. Stay tuned for more videos and remember, we're on this tech journey together.